get you a tea or coffee form? Oh, yes, please. No milk, five sugars. Diva. Very sweet, five sugars. Hello, dears. Welcome to my wood. You might think a fawn is a young deer, but I'm certainly not the baby. OK, so she might be in, like, her 40s. Although, like a fawn, I admit that when I was younger, I was somewhat awkward. Call me a boffin, but maths was a passion. Is this someone quite smart? It says Sandy on her necklace. Sandy. Though my brain helped me to win later in life. Run, An Olympian, maybe. Now that I'm all grown up, I'm not awkward at all. Tonight, better hold on to your seat for dear life. Oh, look how pretty. It's absolutely incredible. Oh my Love that, Davina. Oh. I'm having a moment. Me and Rita, oh. we're both covered in goosebumps. Yes. Oh. Absolutely extraordinary. Oh, Love that. I will say this. She's quite hard to hug <laughs> because the ear really goes straight into your face. Five sugars. I was thinking, is that something to do with a girl band? So I had an idea of Mel C. She's got an amazingly versatile voice. Mel C's a good guest. I like that. Rita! Wow, 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 wow! And one more wow for good luck. Wow, 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 wow! I just can't believe your voice. It's so angelic, it's trained, it's extremely well-developed, which makes me think you might be a bit older in your 40s, maybe. You did have a lady wearing a necklace that said Sandy, which got me thinking Sandy Beaches, and then I went straight to Benidorm. That's a TV show. You yeah, might be yeah. a TV actress as well. And that got me to Hannah Waddingham. <laughs> Hannah Waddingham. Yeah. Bye, well, I'm going to come to you next. Oh, what a lovely, breathtaking performance. It yes. felt like I was in, like, a Disney musical or something. It didn't help me for my guesses, though, cos when I looked <laughs> at the clue package, the first thing you said was, dear. Someone might say, oh, hello, my dear. How are you doing, dear? Kim Woodburn. <laughs> <laughs> I am struggling. 
We've wasted enough time with these poor guesses. Listen, <laughs> here it is. It's coming. This is the moment you've been waiting for. OK. Aha. Oh, he stood up. I've put the clues together. You've got to think maths. You've got to think finances. You've got to think, what is a fawn, a baby deer, who recently looked like a deer in the headlights? Yes, I think, in there, our ex-chancellor of the Exeter, Kwasi Kwarte! <laughs> yes! Yes! My work is done. Thank you. <laughs> Cannot believe you stood up for that. <laughs> diddle, 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 time for a riddle. So listen carefully, because the clue is in the answer. Let's hear your riddle, please, Fawn. I live in a cottage and not in a palace. I visited Wonderland, but my name isn't Alice. Mm. Is it somebody that's played in Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. This yeah. is so hard. Alice. Alice. Who the... Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll only see who's inside when we say Wambi, Bambi, thank you, Mambi. Give it up for Fawn, everybody. <laughs> Are these guesses a million bucks, or can the panel not see the wood for the trees? Who do you think is behind the mask? That was fantastic. The panel are finding it quite hard to figure out my identity. <laughs> Hat. Kim Woodburn. Mel C. As the sun will rise. I was voted through by the audience. Yeah. And I'm one very happy deer. <laughs> now my home might be the forest, but it was in a topsy-turvy land that I discovered a very heavy silvery white metal. Platinum. Platinum selling album. Yeah, a single. And that wasn't the only place. There were, of course, lots of other trophies, which was amazing. Trophy, someone that's won some stuff. Uh, look, look, a pin, a bowling pin. Maybe that pin means, like, pin up. However, my own aspirations were always much simpler. And I'm pleased to say I accomplished those goals more than once. Jam and marmalade. And a marmalade. Tonight, I'm going to bring joy, song, and a whole lot of deer.
Yeah, yeah. I love that, Ford. I love that. So good. Ford, everybody. Rita, he's looked pretty mesmerised. I love Ford. I really love Ford. You are so cute and, like, elegant and classy. And I really love the fact that you can sing. It's just, you confuse me the most. Yes. I think I have it, and then I'm like, maybe not. First of all, the bowling pin. Is it somebody that is known to be a pin-up? That's Ooh. good. Pin up. That's a good guess. Yes, and then I thought, you did say topsy-turvy land. What is that, down under? That's giving me Australia, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And if I go off your voice, I don't know why, but the tone sounds like Delta Goodrum. Oh. OK. That's a good guess. I like that name a lot. Yes. Jonathan, well, I'll come to you next. Topsy-turvy land, I'm interpreting that possibly as Japan because there was a Gilbert and Sullivan musical called Mikado and a film about it called Topsy Turvy. And what martial art do you think of when you think of Japan? Karate. Yes, and <laughs> someone I'm thinking of is not just a great singer, she's also someone who has won medals for our country doing karate. I'm thinking it could be Anne-Marie in there, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Anne-Marie. No. What do you no. mean, no? There's just no way. Her voice sounds nothing like Anne-Marie. Yeah, like you'd know. I do know! <laughs> <laughs> also, before we go on, though, that person is a maniac. <laughs> Did you see at the picnic she had scones out? She put marmalade on! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. What is wrong with you? <laughs> marmalade on a scone. But, yeah, personally, I'd say scone, but yeah. I don't want to start a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, what are you thinking? Oh, that was so good. I like that song. But like, going back to the 80s. Woolworths. <laughs> Dixons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, when I looked at the clues, though, there was white metal, right? One of the famous white metals is platinum. So I thought this could be someone that might have a platinum selling mm. song. Then you guys said about Down Under. You mentioned one of the Minogues. It could be Danny Minogue. Oh, yeah, that is a good guess, Mo. Mo. There was a thing where she was coming over with and she had a box marked Precious Cargo. Yeah. Maybe Danny had Kylie in the box and she was bringing over. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Davida. So, I also thought about the going down under, but I thought more along the lines of I'm a celebrity Ooh, and that yeah. possibly the winning Ooh. awards would be a winner. So I was thinking in my head of all the girls that had won and I stopped on Jacqueline Josser. Ah. OK. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but she didn't go to the NTAs because she went bowling with her family. What? Oh. Yeah. I it was in all the papers, and I know Jacqueline can sing. I like that. It's a really good guess. Do you want a bit of help? Yes, please. Yeah. OK, let's play clue or false. Fawn will give us two festival rumours, and the audience will help you decide which one's phony and which one's genuine. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Fawn, let's hear clue number one. Let me tell you what I heard. They're saying you might know me from the movies. From the movies. And movie. clue number two? They're saying to take care moving around the festival. Don't want to break a leg. Maybe somebody who's in the theatre. OK, audience, which clue do you think is true? One or two? Shout if you think it's clue number one. <laughs> Shout if you think it's clue number two. OK, so more for two, Jonathan. So that's break a leg. So either you're thinking it's someone in show business, because that's what actors say, or you're agreeing with me it's Anne-Marie, who, with her karate skills, could break all our legs. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be saying do when you see who's inside our deer? You'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Fawn, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Fawn. Have the panel found the groove with their guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? I was an all-singing, all-prancing fawn tonight. But the panel are off their trotters with those guesses. Last time, I was really starting to get into the groove. The panel gave some staggering guesses. It could be Danny Minogue. Delta Goodrum. And Marie. Jacqueline Jossa. But they'll have to work harder to guess me. Hello again. It can be said that life is a journey. Short road. Short road, long road. And we, dear, know how to migrate. 
Believe me, I know a lot about traveling great distances. Maybe she does triathlon or something. Sometimes I could take three, maybe four flights a day, honest. I'm no international woman of mystery, but this isn't the first disguise I've worn. Someone from the 90s. Oh, two of them. It's true, I have been in the background in my early career. But I've also taken the lead. In the background. Could be like a backup dancer. AL. It's true in life, all the world's a stage. You can't get in the Mo, I'm going to come to you first. I know who it is. Oh. I know who it is. He's doing the I, I know, know who it is dance. Who it is. Uh, I know no. who it is. Um, <laughs> one of the clues, you see 98. She yeah. had a song in 98 called Sitting on Top of the World, Well Travelled. That is Leanne Rhymes. In there, that's Leanne Rhymes. I'm telling you. That's caused a bit of a stir in the audience. Jonathan, is it Leanne Rhymes? Uh, no. <laughs> I was looking at that side, it's in Short World, Long World even longer road. So a longer road could be forever, or it could be eternity. And then we saw that stuffed bird, and it said AL at the bottom. And there is a bird, a turn, and if that was a turnal, then from the band Eternal, it could be Kelly Bryan. OK. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah. Rita, what are you thinking? Hear me out. Ooh. OK, guys? The long distance thing, long distance runners, right? And maybe it's a sports person and can like run. And where do people run, guys? In the woods. <laughs> who runs in the woods? So you're saying it's someone, <laughs> someone running in the woods who can, who can sing like that, Hold. but they're not a professional singer, they're a runner. Hold it. And it's like rain. There was one runner <laughs> who had an ironic, unfortunate incident as she was running, Paula Radcliffe. Oh, Rita. Rita, this. <laughs> That was one of the most incredible journeys. <laughs> yeah. Davina. I saw something that none of you have picked up on, which uh -oh. was two of them, twice. Mm. So then I thought, what about somebody that's played a twin? And then I saw the number 98 on the door, and I thought, ooh, Parent Trap. When did Parent Trap come out? Probably about 1998. And she was a singer. Yeah. So I think it's Lindsay Lohan. Oh, good little guess. 
Woodland, you like to know who's hidden inside. You'll only find out when the mask comes off. Give it up for Fawn, everyone. Yay! Are the panel running towards the right answer? Or are they caught in the headlights? Who do you think is behind the mask? The panel's guesses are all absurd. They think they're onto my trail, but I've left no tracks. In my last performance, the panel were running free with their guessing. Yeah! I'm thinking it could be Anne Marie in there. Delta Goodrum, Jacqueline Josser. It could be Danny Minogue. But when it comes to who I really am, I'm still the fawn in their side. Have you heard the one about the deer who won the lottery? She felt like a million bucks. <laughs> lottery. Anthea Chana used to host it. Oh dear, that was bad, right? You fell in love. But I've always been the joker in the pack. Part of a crew? Yes, yes, part of a group. Being able to take the mickey out of others is a real testament to any friendship. Look, angel and devil. And I'm lucky to be surrounded by nothing but love and support. We might not always see each other, but as they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Top of the pops. That could be a singer. Tonight, it's time to take it up, a dear. Wish me good luck. Something new. Broken picture frame, I've been frozen and I can't find a better view. This ain't real, this ain't cool, this ain't what I signed up to. This ain't right, it's no good, no good, what? no. Everything is changing. I've been here for too long, going through the same thing. the same hand how you find something new i can work it out what it's all about i can live my life through you this ain't real this ain't cool this ain't what i signed up to this ain't right it's no good Tina, you said you love to support others. Is this somebody that has been amongst a lot of people? Maybe you started in the industry at a young age and I thought of Kat Dealey. I think that's quite a good idea. Very interesting. Stephen Mulhern. This is harder than I thought. Ah. OK? Thorne keeps looking at me and it's slightly freaking me out. Because of the mannerisms... We know each other. Liz McLaren from Atomic Kitten. Would be. Oh. She was the joker at the pack. She was the one that was always playing about, top of the pops. <gasps> if you've guess. got that right, yeah. it's not OK, Stephen. You can't just waltz in here. People agree with you. Mm. Davina, what are you thinking? I heard Thorn in my side yeah. and I went to Thorn, but I th was thinking about surnames. Somebody that started via Disney and I heard the name Mickey. That always makes me think of Disney. And is also a singer and performer is Bella Thorne. 
That's an interesting new name in the mix. Jonathan Ross, hey. here we go. She said very clearly, have you heard, which made me think of hearsay, being on top of the pops, which made me think, could it be Kim Marsh in there? Ooh. You got a bit of applause for that one. Finally, Mo. I'm just absolutely fawning in love with you. Oh, that was so good. That guy. <laughs> I noticed, I think the biggest clue of tonight is your accent. I thought you were from the UK, but you're not. You're clearly from North America. It's somewhere in that region. Really? I've seen Top of the Pops. That helped me. And then I was like, it's Shania Twain. That's, that's who it is. You could be wine, Mo. OK, do you guys need some help? Yes. Yeah. Well, you're in luck, because we've got a clue generator which has just suddenly appeared at the end of the panel's desk. <laughs> One pull on the lever will select a clue category. Mo, will you please do the honours? Okay. Oh, let's see what we've got. We've got question marks. You've got a mystery clue in the form of a prop. Got a prop. Oh! <sighs> A, a thing. Does anyone know what this is? A badge? Is that, is that a name oh, tag? Oh, my <laughs> God, it's Anne Robinson! <laughs> oh, yeah, that is from Weakest Link. <laughs> OK, well, we'll only know who's inside when we say see ya to our dear. <laughs> Give it up for Fawn, everyone. That's so confusing. Are the panel the weakest link, or have they guessed Fawn's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel presented a great bunch of guesses tonight, but I'm still running rings around them. Hi, Steven! In my last performance, the panel presented some new names. It's Shania Twain. Kat Dealey. Bella Thorne. Kim Marsh. They think they're getting closer, but I think that's just hearsay. Remember, remember the 1st of November. What an adventure this has been. What's the beach thing? I mean, that's very British. And here I am, so close to the final. What a moon sugar I've flagged many clues for you. I could even give you 12 million more. Maybe album sold or something. Sales, no followers. But have you heard them all? Tonight, I'll be pleased if you're still asking, who are you, Doe? Stole a hanky from a hedgehog. 
<laughs> oh, man, is someone cutting onions? Cos... <laughs> no, but that was so emotional. But the clue was right there at the top of the VT package. Impressed me much. We're in the presence of a legend. I think he's Shania Twain. <laughs> Can I say one other thing, Joe? Please do. I got one right last week. So, <laughs> you're feeling comfortable. <laughs> I don't know. No. You haven't, you haven't no. measured it. No. Davida. I saw 1st of November. This person has a birthday on the 1st of November. And she also presented a TV program called Singled Out, and it said at some point, surrounded by oh. love. Um, and that is Jenny McCarthy. That's a great guess. Peter Crouch. I just wasn't expecting to be so teary watching a hedgehog <laughs> crying. <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned hearsay. Uh, I don't think it was the two fellas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it could be Mylin Class. Yeah. I heard hearsay as well, and I really stuck for that. So I'm going to go with Suzanne Shaw. Jonathan Ross, finally. Here's who I think it is. If you go for the date, if you go to November the 1st, and that will be November's the 11th month, so it's 111. What are three ones add up to? Three. Three. So someone who've had three number ones here in the UK, Billy Piper, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Billy Piper in there, that's what I think it is. Oh. Do you want another clue? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's time for another clue nundra. OK, finger on buzzer. Here we go. Platinum. Platinum. Oh. Oh. Yes, Peter. Platinum. Platinum. Yes. If it's Shania Twain, she must have some platinum selling albums. I've got it right. I've got, I got number one. <laughs> But we'll only see the Fawny side when the mask comes <laughs> off. Give it up for Fawn, everyone. <laughs> Have the panel joined the dots, or are they struggling to make heads or tails of the clues? Who do you think's behind the mask? I can't believe I've made it all the way to the semi-final, and the panel are still confused. When they make the grand final. It's Fawn. Thanks, Rita. This is, do you guys want an extra clue? Yeah, yes. yes. OK. Uh, Jonathan, you might want to adjust your hearing aid, cos we're about to have the loudest clue ever! <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. That was very rude. OK. Panel, get ready. Fawn, take it away. Rankin. Rankin. Rankin, Rankin is a very famous Author. portrait photographer. Yes, but you also get ranked, like, in class. Yes. Yes. No, but that would be ranking. No. Yes, <laughs> but still, it might be a clue. She just might not use her Gs, and it could be Mylene Class. That's good. 
It's Shania Twain. It's no. Shania Twain, Joel. How does that fit in with Shania Twain? Because she's one of the top-ranking musicians of all time. I'm going to stick with Billy Piper, though, because the bees, then she had a hit single, <laughs> Honey for the Bee. I think that was a big clue. I think it was Billy Piper. Oh. Yes. Uh, well, we'll only see who's been dear there and everywhere when the mask comes off. Give it up for Fawn. <laughs> I think I could be the one to head to the grand final. I've come this far, and I'm still galloping circles around the panel. The sun will come out tomorrow. In the semi-final, I gave them some really big clues. I think it's Shania Twain. Jenny McCarthy. Suzanne Shaw. Billy Piper, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm still on the run, and I'm still giving them the slip. Forward interview, take one. Oh, ace! It's the final night, and I can honestly say I never, ever thought I would be here. But I'm so pleased I am! <laughs> I've tried to stay leaps and bounds ahead of you, but now it's over to you. Leaps and bounds. An athlete. You have one guess as to who I am. One guess. One direction. But how can you be sure? Sure. Suzanne Shaw. You just have to wait until the mask comes off. Tonight, it's finally time to find out who I am. Guess my, it's not the first heartbroken. My eyes are not the first to cry. Oh, she's getting cheap. Not the first to know There's just no getting over you I'm hopelessly devoted to you But now there's nowhere to hide Since you push my love aside I'm out of my head Hopelessly I It was so beautiful. And whoever you are, you've got a world-class voice. I'm going to change my guess, I think. Because <laughs> the last few weeks I've been guessing Billy Piper, ladies and gentlemen. But then I remembered a clue from last week, which was November the 1st. And I've realised November the 1st is All Saints Day. <gasps> oh, oh what? Good. That's oh. Good. So I'm thinking it must be one of All Saints in there, and I'm going to guess Shaznay Lewis. Shaznay! Yeah, Shaznay. Uh, Davina, I'll come to you next. I was thinking model. They keep walking down this straight line in the woods. What lives in woods? Foxes! Foxes. 
And I was like, oh my God, it is Sam Fox in there. And she did I'm a Celeb. We had a topsy-turvy clue earlier. I'm gonna go with Sam Fox, people. Sam Fox. <laughs> Lee, you've got a look on your face where you're like, I've got a really good note. At one point, she emphasised the word who, didn't she? <laughs> yes. yes. In the VT. Yes. So I started thinking about Doctor Who. There just happens to be a type of mustard called yellow deer mustard. Genuinely true. What's another type of mustard? Coleman's mustard. Yes. <gasps> I think it might be Jenna Coleman. Good. Mo, what are you thinking? I know who it is, and I've been saying it for weeks. And I know this voice is so distinctive. That's Shania Twain. Wow. Rita, who do you think it is? I kept hearing, sure, sure, sure. I'm going to stick with Suzanne Shaw. Oh. Do you need another clue? Yes, yes please. OK, let's play the chase. Roll Bradley. What does an actor, the king of beasts and a celestial formation have in common? A, smell gassy, B, <laughs> found on a red carpet, or C, all called Leo? I tell you, I think we should let Lee decide, cos it's his first yeah, night Lee, on the show. Decide. I'm going to go with B. Let's see if you found the answer. Correct answer is it's got to be all called Leo, surely. Leo DiCaprio? Oh. Yeah, Leo, chase his put. Oh. <laughs> Lee, you know what might help us? Is there a famous Leo who enjoys mustard? <laughs> I think Leonardo DiCaprio loves a bit of Coleman's. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> new fawn, who dis? <laughs> we'll only know when the mask comes off. Raise the hoof for fawn, everyone. The panel don't sound so sure they have figured out Fawn's identity. All sounds like hearsay to me. I've been devoted to confusing the panel with my clues. And it's worked. They're still hopelessly searching for my identity. <laughs> Fawn, you'll be performing with a mass Singer favourite. Please welcome back to the stage, Traffic Code. <laughs> to see him back. Still just as hard to hug as you were before. Okay. Well, traffic cone, this isn't your first road, EO. You know what to do. Take it off. 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 Oh, it's lovely to 
see you again, Alan. Any idea at all who you might be duetting with, Alan? She's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful brilliant. voice. Absolutely beautiful. It could be Fawn Baby Deer, could be Baby Spice. Baby Spice. Oh, that's a good shout. You sounded amazing. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love singing this song, and I also I love Coney, so uh, any excuse to come back. Well, traffic on. Alan Jones, it has been great to have you here, but now get back to work on the M1, please. <laughs> Let's hear it again for Ford and Traffic Cone. Love you, Alan. It was so amazing to duet with Traffic Cone tonight. It must be driving the panel mad not knowing who I am. That means Rhino and Fawn. One of you is in the final two, and the other will be unmasked immediately. <gasps> Oh. The second Mars singer returning oh to perform again is. <laughs> Rhino! Oh, congratulations! Give it up for Rhino and Phoenix, everyone! Yeah. Well done, guys. Head off down the tunnel, you're amazing. Let's hear it for Paul. Oh, Paul. I thought Paul was broke. Yeah, me too. You have been so wonderful. Oh. Unfortunately, your time with the Mars Singer has come to an end, and it is time to remove your mask. But first, of course, panel, who do you think it is? Mo? This is a name that I've said uh, for the last couple of weeks, so I think it's Shania Twain. Okay. Davina McCall. Sam Fox. Oh. I know. I'd boo me too. Fine. Lee Mack. It's just come to me, the voice reminds me of. I think it might be Charlene Spiteri from Texas. Oh, oh yes. That's a great shout. Rita Ora. I'm just going to stick with Suzanne Shaw. Go with Suzanne Shaw. Jonathan Ross. From All Saints. I think it might be Shazne Lewis. OK, let's see if any of you are right. There's only one way to find out. Fawn, who's behind the mask? Take it up. Take it up. Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Oh my god, I'm so glad to be here! I can't wait! Take it off! 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 Who are you? Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! It's lovely! Apple for everybody! From all sakes, Platinum Selling Girl Band! I was so close again. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Oh, man. We were so close. It was so incredible. Hey. You were so oh, good. That's what you look like. <laughs> yeah, that's what you look like. <laughs> you absolutely had us all flummoxed, yeah. and that is quite something. So well done. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. <laughs> You don't get to hear your voice like that that often where you're singing those ballads. Yeah. What an amazing Incredible. voice you have. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I loved, like, fooling you guys. It was, it was such a buzz. I guessed All Saints. Yeah. You did. That was pretty close. I genuinely thought you were Shania and Sway. That was <laughs> so buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> there was a clue that said, never, ever. Of course, that's an All Saints like, song, of course. All Saints oh, song. And there was a clue about you didn't want milk in your coffee, and, of course, that's Black Coffee, which is such an amazing track. Yeah. Oh. Have you had fun? I've had the best time ever. Yeah? It's been amazing. I do recommend. If you could recommend it to Shania Twain, Mo might be white on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've absolutely loved having you. Performing for us one final time, unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Natalie Appleton! <laughs> First to cry, not the first to know. There's just no getting over.